So one of the lines from right out of the 5 a.m. club is one of the DNAs of legendary is longevity. So if you look at the Picassos, the Jean-Michel Basquiat, you look at the great uh, sports champions, you look at the great history makers, they were much better at energy management than time management. And so we're in a war against distraction right now, and what we really have to do is optimize our energy. How do I do it? Well, I mean, I get to the morning routine, which, which the whole book is based on. But it's really quite powerful because if you start your day with sweaty exercise, you're actually going to activate a pharmacy of mastery that exists in every human brain. I know you love the neuroscience. You're going to release BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotrophic factor. That's going to actually accelerate your processing. It's actually going to repair brain cells that have been damaged by stress. You're going to release the neurotransmitter dopamine, which is the, the fire neurotransmitter, which we all need as entrepreneurs and business builders and, and servants of humanity. Um, cortisol, the fear hormone is highest in the morning, so exercising first thing in the morning is going to reduce that. I'm getting into my 20-20-20 formula, but I mention it because it is a way to maximize your energy. So talk to us about the 20, 20, 20. I mean, you sort of um, started it there with the, the sweaty exercise, but what's the rest of that formula, which is pretty powerful? Sure. So the new book is all about rising at 5 a.m. And that's because if you look at the great creatives and the great saints and the great humanitarians and the great titans of industry, many of them got up at 5 a.m. Even right now, you've got Tim Cook and you've got Howard Schultz and it goes on and on. Before the sun rises is the time of least distraction. Before the sun rises, where you can build intimacy and fluency with what you want to stand for in your day. Before the sun rises, the luxury and tranquility of the early morning hours, you can do that deep inner work that will allow you to go out in the world and, and play at your best. So what the 20-20-20 formula is, is simply this. There's three pockets. The first pocket is move, 5 to 5.20. And you get into the sweaty exercise because, like I mentioned, it releases uh, neurotransmitters, it uh, reduces the cortisol, increases your metabolic rate, which gives you more energy. So now, and sort serotonin as well, which gives you joy. So now it's 520. Fundamentally, you feel different. You have energy. Your state is strong. You've got a fire in your belly, and you've accelerated your focus. 520 to 540 is the second pocket of the 2020-20 formula, which is reflect. We live in a world where a lot of people are busy being busy, but what's the point of being busy around climbing the wrong Mount Everests? And so clarity is one of the DNAs of mastery. You, you know this. If you talk to the titans of industry and you talk to the people really getting traction around their ambition, these are people who have a monomaniacal focus on the few things that matter. They have an obsession bordering on a possession around the few priorities they want to build their life around. And so 520 to, to uh, 540, the second pocket, you write in a journal, you meditate, you visualize, you do what I call in the book a blueprint for a beautiful day. Um, or you just sit in solitude and you think and you ponder and you reflect. And then the final pocket is 5.40 to 6 o'clock and this is the victory hour. Um, the final pocket is grow. But if you look at the greatest billionaires, I've coached many billionaires over the past 20 years. If you look at the greatest producers on the planet, these people have one thing in common. They are ridiculously curious. And no matter how much money they make and no matter how much impact they have, they maintain a white belt mentality. One of the keys to epic performance is a relentless commitment to daily growth. It's the 90-91 rule. And when I work with the billionaires, this one morning routine has helped them profoundly. And here it is. So for the next 90 days, your first 90 minutes at work, Make it focused on your single most important project. I'll repeat that again. For the next 90 days, the first 90 minutes of your workday, focus monomaniacally on your single most valuable project. I call it your game-changing move. So it might be 
It might be creating a new piece of code that will revolutionize the marketplace. It might be a new product that when you launch it will fill a need within your industry that no peer is currently providing. I don't know what your game-changing move is, but this is your poetry. This is your magnum opus for the next 90 days.